Nowadays, material and energy usage of biowaste belong among frequently used terms. The company AgroEco from Ostrava, Czech Republic, offers utilization of biodegradable waste by means of reprocessing and sanitation of raw materials, thanks to a new, unique technology of controlled aerobic fermentation. The aim is production of biofuel or compost. Attention is mainly focused on raw materials, bio-waste if you like, whose production grows continually and is a permanent source of trouble for our civilization and its future. The result of our year-long research and experiments is a device for processing biodegradable waste registered as Aerobic Fermenter EWA. What possibilities does this unique device offer? The aerobic fermenter EWA produced by AgroEco Ostrava can process animal waste products mentioned in the order 1774-2002 of the European Committee. It can process, for example, chicken bedding and waste from food production of animal origin. Furthermore, it can process sewage plant sludge which represents a specific group of waste, the production of which is growing every year as the new sewage plants are put into operation. Other waste processed by the EWA device can be sugar production cuttings, stillage from spirit production, sludge from paper and pulp production, leaves and grass for municipal maintenance. Before entering the aerobic fermenter EWA, the mentioned waste is mixed with liquid absorbing biomass from agriculture or forestry in a special seco crusher. It consists of, for example, cereal or rape straw, wood chips, or sawdust for high heating power of the biofuel. The prepared material is loaded into the fermenter. It undergoes many processes and eventually becomes a usable biofuel. EWA's technology processes. The first important junction of the technology is the inner reshoveling of the EWA container. It consists of three systems. The inner circuit of the fermenter is equipped with a bucket conveyor which brings the biomass mixture up from the bottom. The second system consists of a hydraulically controlled unit of cutters which gradually cut the contents into approximately 30 cm layers up from the bottom. These cutters can be computer controlled to vary speed or space and cyclic periodical operation can be chosen to suit the material contents in the fermenter. The third system consists of separate ceilings built in intervals preventing arching of the biomass. The hollow floor segments contain thermometer bars and these segments are used to drive air into airing injectors. The last technology junction is the system of airing the contents of the insulated container. Due to the high temperatures and aggressive environment inside the container, all the driving mechanisms of the aerobic fermenter EWA are powered by hydraulics except the fan. 
The fan drives atmospheric air through air pipes and through a system of freely attached special steel pipes inside the contents. The programming device enables manual as well as programmed control of airing and control of the fermentation process due to the temperature of the airing. Besides the temperature, also the volume of oxygen in the contents is important for the optimization of the process. This is regulated by an oxygen gauge. Wet and hot air of about 60 degrees Celsius is degassed by a chimney hole in the ceiling of the fermenter for further use in the recuperator or biofilter. The technical and technological method of the aerobic fermenter EWA is protected by an edict and four utility modules. Method of conversion of biodegradable hygienically non-stabilized substrate into hygienically stabilized product. Reactor for controlled aerobic fermentation. Device for separation of contents bottom layer. Device for contents airing mainly during fermentation. Device for substrate relocation. The whole principle of biodegradable waste processing in the EWA aerobic fermenter is based on fermentation of mixture of biodegradable waste and liquid absorbing biomass. The optimal humidity of the loaded mixture is between 55 and 60 percent. The metabolic apparatus of bacteria present in the biowaste is activated by airing and reshoveling, which initiates intensive thermophilic aerobic fermentations. The rise of the content temperature above 70 degrees for a defined period causes limitation and elimination of present viruses, bacteria, yeast, molds, protozoans and helminths. Thus the sanitation of the content runs. The next continuation of the fermentation at temperatures of about 50 degrees Celsius connected with intensive airing causes biological drying of the contents. The humidity of the final fermentate is about 30%. It's used for energy purposes and is unloaded by a hydraulically controlled conveyor. The fuel compost for energy use gained in this manner is produced within four days. The final biofuel produced by this method has been tested in the Kurnov boiler plant, municipal boiler plant in Opava and several other municipal boiler plants. Its heating power is in the range of 10 to 14 megajoules per kilogram and therefore it's suitable wherever biomass or low quality coal is used. As for emission characteristics, the fuel compared to coal fully complies and fulfills the legislative limits. Transportation of loose fuel is secured by bulk cargo containers. Rotopress cars can be used to improve the efficiency of transportation. Inside the cars, the fuel can be pressed in order to reach double density, up to 400 kilograms per cubic meter. If it is necessary to process large amounts of biowaste, more fermenters may be used in one place, in a so-called group setting. The operation is then controlled automatically by an industrial computer. The essence of the control program is based on the triggering of the reactions at critical values of temperature and oxygen. The program controls the power junctions. In the case of the airing not securing sufficient inflow of oxygenated air, content reshoveling is initiated.
Thus, the aerobic fermenter EWA is a complex device which, essentially, automatically in the sealed space of the container, produces biofuel from a purpose-made mixture of liquid-absorbing biomass and biodegradable waste by the method of using self-warming heat of the contents along with its forced airing. It's an original method protected by an edict including four utility models of technical junctions. Thanks to the aerobic fermenter EWA, we have progressed a little step towards solving the energy problems and waste problems of our civilization. The resulting biofuel ranks among renewable resources and is included in the list of energy significant varieties of biomass. It has a great future in European conditions. The team of AgroEco works hard on further perfection and innovation of the aerobic fermenter for various bio-waste, using the inner or outer waste heat for fuel drying. The team is ready for cooperation with you in its practical utilization.